You're watching ABC 7 News at 5. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us. Jacqueline has the night off. Topping our news this evening, the stage is set and the countdown is on for that historic meeting between President Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. The two are set to have a one-on-one -on -one with only their interpreters present. ABC's Serena Marshall joins us now live from Washington with a preview of this high-stakes historical summit. Serena. Good afternoon. It's a relationship that began with threats and name calling, but now the two leaders resting before their historic face to face summit in Singapore. Now, just hours away. A late night stroll through Singapore. North Korean leader Kim Jong un posing for selfies as he explored the city hosting the summit. He and President Trump hope can lead to peace. It's a one time shot. Even as President Trump says it's likely just the first step, he's publicly stated that he'll know the outcome within minutes of their intimate one-on-one -on -one sit down. Within the first minute, I'll know. How? I just, my touch, my feel, that's what, that's what I do. The administration maintains they won't settle for anything less than full denuclearization. And while the Secretary of State expects something to be signed following their meeting, there's more hard work ahead. We are going to ensure that we set up a system sufficiently robust that we're able to verify these outcomes. Kim hoping for a phased out approach, but this tenuous step after years of provocation. Since taking power in 2011, Kim has tested more missiles than his father and grandfather combined, including one that could reach as far as New York or Washington. And North Korea's threat to target the U.S. had President Trump threatening to respond with fire and fury. Failure in the talks could mean North Korea ramps up their nuclear program. But the global recognition from this meeting, a big win for him back home. The spigot has turned on for greater international engagement, um, economic, political, otherwise, that boosts Kim's legitimacy. The only other American to meet with the reclusive leader face to face, also arriving in Singapore. I guess the bigger thing is to worry about them, though, you know, seeing me right now. Thank you. The one on one between the two leaders is officially scheduled for 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. They plan to meet on the island of Santosa, which means peace. Live in Washington, Serena Marshall, ABC News. Now back to you. Serena, thank you. Best selling author and Sarasota resident Mark Weston spent time on the Korean Peninsula and even wrote a book about the politics in the Far East. He says Americans should not get their hopes to up too high for this summit since this is the first meeting of the two nations. But he did say what he thinks would be a good deal to pursue. If I were the North Koreans, I would propose getting rid of the ballistic missiles that are capable of reaching uh, the United States in return for the withdrawal of the U.S. troops on the Korean Peninsula. And a deal like that would actually be pretty good for the United States, but the South Koreans would f completely feel like they'd been sold out. Weston says this is one of the first times Kim Jong-un has been in the West, and he may be impressed by what he sees in Singapore, which could help long-term relations as well. We will continue to bring you the latest information regarding the summit with North Korea. There will be a special report coming up tonight at 9 p.m. at the start of that summit. You can see it here on ABC7. Here at home, Manatee County Sheriff's investigators are trying to figure out what led to a deadly shooting at a Bradenton bar over the weekend. It happened early Sunday morning at Tommy Knocker's Saloon on 14th Street West. Investigators say two groups got into a fight at the bar and then the argument went outside where shots were fired. One person later died at a nearby hospital. Four others are still recovering from non-life-threatening injuries. But the search continues for the gunman, and investigators are also not ruling out the possibility of multiple shooters. The gunman is described as a bald Hispanic male, about 5 foot 8. Anyone with information is asked to call Manatee County Crime Stoppers at 866-634-TIPS. And then there were two, just days after announcing three candidates remain in the race for Sarasota County Schools Police Chief. Today, one candidate officially withdrew. ABC 7's Taylor Torregano broke the story earlier today, and she's live now at the Sarasota County School Board Chambers with the story. Taylor? 
Good evening, Scott. The district is running out of time when it comes to making a decision on who will run its new police force. By August, they will need a school resource officer on every one of the 53 campuses here in the county. The decision has finally come down to two candidates, Paul Grahowski and Michael Wiggins. Today, we're told Robin Griffin Kitsaro withdrew her application for a law enforcement job closer to home. Sources also tell me that administrators are favoring one of these remaining two candidates and a decision on the chief can be expected very soon. Michael Wiggins would be coming from Polk County, where he currently works as a captain for the sheriff's office. Grahowski most recently worked as the chief of police and director of public safety for Allen Hancock College in Santa Maria, California. Tomorrow morning, the Sarasota School Board is meeting with various law enforcement agencies to discuss the future of security within the school district. And we will continue to keep you updated with the latest information right here on Channel 7 online and on our news app. I'm live at the school board chambers. Taylor Torgano, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Taylor, thank, thank you. And happening tonight, from 88 resumes down to four candidates, Northport City residents have a chance to meet the final four uh, candidates for police chief of Northport. There's a meet and greet tonight at City Hall, and it starts at 6 p.m. The public is invited. Well, uh, another hot day on the Sun Coast and dry as well. Let's get a check on our first alert weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob? Yeah, things have been a little bit uh, unusual to say the least. We've had this uh, persistent trough of low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico. This kind of messed the pattern up. It typically starts in midweek or mid uh, parts of June, but right now it hasn't really started yet with those afternoon and evening storms progressing toward the west coast and we cool down. Uh, it looks like most of the activity again inland. We have rain to the east, rain to the south and to the northwest of us, but not much going on here along the immediate coast. But there are some showers here, uh, some pretty big storms heading off Toward Wachula right now. You can see a little activity too in Charlotte Harbor. Not much, but just a little bit there. One or two lone storms starting to pop up on some outflow boundaries from these storms, creating these little mini miniature fronts. That's what you see right here. But the persistent west wind continues to carry them off uh, to the east right now. There's that lone shower I mentioned down uh, just to the east of Rotunda into Charlotte Harbor. It's been rather uh, active as it pushes to the south at around five miles an hour. Not much going on near the coast. Heavy weather right here near just to the west of Bowling Green and Wachula into Hardy County. Some time Timing of that, 509 in Bowling Green. Looks like uh, Wachula should be getting it around, oh, it looks like 530 this afternoon with some downpours, occasional lightning strikes too. Uh, not out of the question as far as that goes. Water vapor content, not all that dry, but we have some moisture in the atmosphere. But once again, with that pattern kind of stuck in place, we're going to see mostly inland storms on Tuesday. We'll also have an update on the tropics. We were talking about the GFS and the forecast possibility of a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll have an update in just a few minutes, Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. Tonight, a big win for Nathan Benderson Park and its rowing facilities. The park is all set to host the Youth National Championships for three years in a row. ABC 7's Jackie Kelly is live at the park tonight. Jackie, how did the Suncoast land such a prestigious event? Scott, the Nathan Benderson Park hosted this event back in 2015 and 2017, and it had a significant impact on the economy. Earlier, I was able to talk with one of the representatives from the park, and they told me why it was selected for the next three years. When you have a world-class venue, I mean, only world-class events want to be here. Nathan Benderson Park Director of Marketing and Business Development, Michael Washington, says in the last couple of years, the park has hosted its fair share of prestigious rowing events, including the Youth National Championships. Benderson Park has now parlayed that success into a longer-term deal and will host the Youth National Championships from 2019 to 2021. Because they want to try to provide a little bit more of a consistent racing uh, opportunity for the athletes and the coaches. The park worked a alongside with Visit Sarasota County to piece together a proposal of hotel rooms, entertainment, financial packages, and a course layout of the events. Based on years past, Visit Sarasota County says the tourism that comes along with this event brings in a lot of money. And in 2017, it brought in $7 million of economic impact and about 4,000 room nights. And Washington says this is not going to be the last high-profile event the park plans to host. No, we want more and more. We want as many as possible. Washington says the future of this park looks very bright with a lot of big announcements coming soon. More information about the youth championships can be found on their website later this summer. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jackie Kelly, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. 
All right, Jackie, thank you so much. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now, the check of the day on Wall Street. And the market, as we talked earlier today at noon, is kind of on hold today waiting for some big events to happen. A couple big events, and one yeah. of them is going to be in just under four hours right here on ABC 7, seems to me. Yeah. We're, on, we're on hold. We're on watch. And what are we watching for? Well, several things. Singapore is not the only item on the agenda, but as I just said, it's only about four hours away, and we'll see exactly how that turns out long-term and short-term, short-term like right now. The other thing coming up, and very importantly, is the Federal Reserve Board's Open Market Committee. They meet tomorrow and Wednesday with the expectation that early Wednesday afternoon, you're going to see a hike in interest rates probably by 25 basis points or one quarter of 1%. Let's take a a look at the very quiet day on Wall Street, waiting to find out what happens next. <laughs> Take a look at that. The Dow is up less than six points, two one hundredths of one percent at 25,322.31. That on volume of 973 million shares. The Nasdaq, the biggest mover of the day, and not even two tenths of one percent, up just over 14 points at 7,659.93. That on volume of 1,806,000,000 shares. The S&P, well, how's that? 2782 even, up just under three points, one tenth of one percent. Well, big doings at IHOP. Yes, International House of Pancakes. How about IHOB with a B? Yes, indeed. At least short term, the company has said we're interested in selling pancakes, but look at that. How about burgers? They, in fact, have been selling burgers since 1958, but I guess a lot of people don't know that. They've now introduced seven different kinds of burgers so that you can, yes, go into IHOP and get an IHOB whenever you feel like it. The company says that after 11 o'clock in the morning, they're, they're frankly, they're customer base drops substantially. This is an attempt by them to fight it out with McDonald's and Burger King and all those great companies that are selling burgers. And certainly IHOP has been around for a long time and uh, whether IHOP is a su success, easy for me to say, I guess we're going to find out. Or there's even speculation that it's just going to be a temporary thing. They yeah. go back. They just want people to know about. I think the, it's called a promotion, burgers. right? Yeah, I hop working. all the way. Yeah, definitely. What are you expecting them for tomorrow, and how much of it is based on what happens tonight? A whole bunch. Yeah. A whole bunch. I think by probably 10 o'clock our time, we may have a little sense of how things are going. Okay, Richard. Thank you. You're welcome. Coming up, firefighters continue to attack a wildfire spreading in southwest Colorado. Now, over 2,000 homes are being evacuated. And we'll get back to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. He'll have an update on a possible system that's forming in the tropics. Plus, how doctors are pushing for safer storage of prescription opioids. The ABC7 Stock Report is sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. You now have the power to prioritize your Facebook feed and get local news and information from the team you trust. Go to the ABC7 Sarasota page on Facebook, give us a like, then click following and choose See First. That's it. Customize even more by choosing notifications. Choose breaking news, posts, live videos, anything you want to see in real time. Take control of your news feed and stay connected to what's happening in your community with ABC7 on Facebook. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? 
you need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on a pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second Spin Mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Thousands of people are out of their homes, forced to evacuate because of a wildfire in Colorado. The 416 fire, as it's being called, is now more than 22,000 acres and growing. ABC's Danya Backus shows us how officials are trying to control that fire. Over the weekend, this area is under mandatory evacuation. Officials declaring a code red. More than 2,000 southwestern Colorado residents given just a little time. Do I go this way? Or? Yep, yep. Just head down that <laughs> way, okay? I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. Nope, that's okay. Thank you. To pack up and leave. The 416 fire in Durango exploding over the weekend, doubling in size. Windy conditions providing a perfect setup to fuel the flames. Huge plumes of smoke taking over the sky. The firefight happening from the air with planes dropping fire retardant and helicopters doing water drops. More than 800 firefighters working to get the fire under control. It's scary for the fact of we don't know how long it's going to last. Officials say flames have come within feet of homes, but as of Monday, no structures have been damaged or lost. And officials say the fire danger is decreasing as cooler temperatures and less wind move into the area. No word on when those evacuation orders will be lifted. Donya Backus, ABC News, Los Angeles. All right, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan is back, and we we've uh, we had a really wet May. Yeah, right, record setting. Record setting down in South Sarasota County, certainly. And it's kind of shut down now. It has. We're below average for June, but uh, you usually wait until the second week in June when really things start really moving back toward the right. coast. It hasn't happened yet, but it uh, looks like it may be here by the weekend, and maybe Sunday as opposed to Saturday. We'll talk more about that. We also have had a first tropical system. We may have two coming up here before mm -hmm. June ends. Uh, we'll talk about that too coming up just a minute. Here's what's happening right now as far as our Casey Key webcam goes. A beautiful beach weekend, and it continues on to this Monday. If you got that extra day off, uh, there you go. Right there, perfect weather out there on area beaches. Temperatures were a little bit milder there uh, near the coast, and uh, we have had temperatures into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. It feels like 92 right now. The actual temperature at 87, and we have lots of sunshine out there, just a few clouds. The pressure high, 30.01 inches, and winds out of the west-northwest. That wind has to change uh, during the daytime to more of an easterly direction, and before we start to see some of that action move back toward the coast later in the afternoon as it kind of butts up again against that west coast sea breeze and we have that conversion. But you'll notice these showers here all kind of pushing off toward the east. There's a high pressure ridge at the surface anyway here in the Gulf of Mexico. We have a still a weak area of low pressure to the north of us. And then on top of that with that westerly component, most of the action has been shifting off to the east as of late as we saw last week. And now Wachula getting set to get some heavy rainfall right now and into Highlands County, South Highlands County. Uh, you can see quite a bit of rainfall there, although the storms are weakening. And one lone shower down into Charlotte Harbor near uh, the activity is uh, weakening now as it makes its way to the east. This is actually a result of that westerly flow, some outflow boundaries from some earlier storms inland kind of converging and setting up, and then with that west wind continuing to blow off toward the east. There's another little convergence band right here, a little outflow boundary. Uh, we'll see if we may see a few storms developing there uh, near I-75 here. Here's future cast showing a little bit of activity later on tonight, but not much. Tomorrow we start off another beautiful day, lots of sunshine around, and then a few inland storms pop popping up uh, midday along I-75 and then pushing off to the east. The east coast breeze and the west coast kind of meeting there in the middle and you can see some bigger storms there firing up and then another nice start to Wednesday. So things aren't going to change much over the next couple of days as long as this pattern stays in place.
the place, and I think it will right through Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday. The uh, air has been a little drier. You can see just that little sliver of dry air sliding into west central Florida, a little bit more moisture inland areas. And then out west, some showers and storms there, but uh, not a lot of moisture in the atmosphere at this point, so we don't anticipate anything too significant as we push through time. And again, it looks as though we will see uh, better chances for some showers, as I mentioned, uh, come Sunday. With that high pressure just to the west of our area, it continues to dominate with a little bit of a west flow. Now that high is going to move around a little bit over the upcoming days. Tropical satellite imagery uh, showing uh, quite a bit of thunderstorm activity down here in the Caribbean. And this is a favorite area for development during the month of June and July. You can see there uh, appears to be something developing there, area of low pressure maybe as far as the future cast goes The GFS. Good news, it shows the low tracking well west now and uh, heading off toward Mexico or Texas over the upcoming days. So it had been more toward Louisiana and the Panhandle, and it looks like uh, the chances for it developing is only at 20%. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. Temperatures right now 87 at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. Well, here's the forecast for boaters tomorrow. Uh, winds will be out of the southeast, switching around to the southwest at 5 to 10 knots. And we'll have a light chop on the bays and inland waters. The uh, forecast for the next seven days looks like this. A 20% chance only for inland storms over the next couple of days. We bump it up to 30, but still that's mainly inland. There may be one or two lone showers making it toward the coast. And then we uh, start to see a better chance for some scattered storms as we enter into the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Scott? Okay, Bob, thank you. Let's check first alert traffic now. Some backups in the downtown Sarasota area this evening. Heading east and west on Fruitville Road, as well as you heading north on US 301. We're seeing uh, just a few slowdowns on the map, but it clears up once you get past Fruitville. In health news tonight, as the country continues to grapple with an opioid abuse epidemic, doctors, researchers, and politicians are all trying to find ways to stem the crisis. The National Institute on Drug Abuse says people are most likely to begin abusing drugs as adolescents. But one physician thinks there may be a way to help keep teens from becoming addicted. His locking prescription bottle works like a bike lock, shows proof if tampered with and can be purchased online or at select pharmacies. His goal is that all prescriptions with possible abuse will be stored in these secure containers, limiting access to curious kids in the house. Vapors using low rather than high nicotine e-cigarettes may be using their devices more intensely, potentially increasing the risk of exposure to toxins in the vapors. Researchers studied 20 e-cigarette users and found people using those low nicotine e-liquid in their devices puffed more deeply and more often than those using the high nicotine liquid. Vaping more intensely and at higher power raises the temperature inside the device, which can cause the glycerin and glycol, glycol found in most e-liquids to break down risking exposure to chemicals. Coming up, shocking video shows a car crash into a toll booth plaza and how a sinkhole led to a deadly boating accident. Those stories coming up. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. If you think it's hot outside, just wait until you see even hotter savings inside. Only at Rugs Says Art Hot Summer Savings Sale event will you find the lowest prices on a vast selection of stunning rugs, furniture accents, and accessories. This special event only happens once a year, so hurry in before the best selections are gone. The hot summer savings event ends soon, so don't miss out on the best prices ever. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. You want a Maserati. But you need an SUV. Why not have both? Levante, the Maserati of SUVs. Experience it at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Sarasota Oxygen and CPAP is the largest locally owned CPAP supply company in the area. Is it time to replace your old equipment? The staff at Sarasota Oxygen and CPAP can show you the most up-to-date CPAP equipment and supplies to meet your sleep apnea needs, including portable travel devices and the SoClean automatic CPAP sanitizer. We serve all of Southwest Florida, giving the highest quality of care with the finest CPAP equipment. Please visit our website, sarasotacpap.com. 
Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Outback is an IIHS top safety pick for 10 years running. Lease a new Subaru Outback today for just $2.49 a month. Or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. Get local news and information from the team you trust. Like ABC7 WWSB on Facebook to stay connected to the Suncoast. Shocking video shows the moment a car slams into a toll plaza on the Florida Turnpike. We want to warn you, the video is graphic, but all five passengers in the car are okay. The crash happened near St. Cloud and Osceola County. Video from the toll plaza shows the car slamming into a barrier and then a passenger being ejected. The passenger landed near the toll booth. The crash caught the toll booth workers by surprise and about 20 seconds passed before anyone notices that someone had been ejected. Troopers say the driver appeared to be fatigued. The driver and all four passengers were treated and released somehow from a hospital. The driver of an SUV crashes into a famous roadside hot dog stand at the New Jersey shore, seriously injuring the stand's owner. The crash happened this morning in the Wonder Wiener stand in Berkeley Township. The stand's owner was flown to a hospital. The SUV also apparently struck and damaged a utility pole. The cause of the crash remains under investigation. Arkansas authorities say a sinkhole led to a deadly boating accident. That sinkhole opened in the Spring River below Sadler Falls. It created a whirlpool Saturday, which led to that accident. Engineers will be on site this week to investigate. The area has been roped off and buoys have been installed. The river is still open, but boaters are being asked to avoid that barricaded area. Still to come tonight on your Suncoast News, how the city of Sarasota is combating homelessness in the area and why snakes are taking over a Sarasota County road. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. If you don't want to fall immediately into love, look away. If you don't want to awaken a desire for excellence, look away. If you don't want to be seduced, please look away. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no-obligation quote, TrueStage offers plans to fit your budget 
Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. I took my first handful of pills, and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the partnership for drug-free kids. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to californiaclosets.com.